Hello, welcome back to Menotsuji Web Noting. In this episode, I will be sharing with you this uh, little tool creations. Um, basically, it's a uh, kind of like recreations of this app, Revolve, by uh, what's his name, Bartos, for iPad. But this is actually an old app, and it's already uh, it's actually open sourced by the creator, uh, uh, Revolve. Okay. Here in Blender, I will be using Grease Pencil. Um, this is kind of like a super basic, but it's actually kind of interesting as well. So I have Grease Pencil here, and if you look at it from the front front view, you can see there's Grease Pencil, and this um, these nodes will revolve uh, based on the Grease Pencil that's already resampled. So, if we select Chris Pencil and go to Draw Mode and just make, um, just draw something and update, this thing will also update. So you can quickly create um, bottle, bowl, whatever that's kind of um, can be revolved. Okay and you might also notice the color so the color is actually something that you do with notes as well so you can quickly change the color like this so i think this has a lot of potential so let's uh let's take a look very quickly what's going on so grease pencil data goes inside stretch of notes this is the usual thing that I do whenever I'm resampling this pencil. Okay, so we can resample it very, very quickly using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these notes that you can cast using GP. So either one of these. And after I do that, I have UV connections and last. Okay, this one, this one's the one that's doing the job for us so we can revolve it uh, 360 degree you can also pick less so that's half I think that's uh, already really quite useful and and the output of this is this object of course that we have in the scene but after that I'm using vertex color nodes so this node is also super useful this one gives a vertex color so if you go to vertex paint you can see there's this paint and you can you can paint on it right but stretch up will always override so the mesh is changing and the vertex color is also changing using this node and the node is getting its color by mapping the value, the Z value of the vertex of the of the revolved grease pencil. Okay, so that's a really quite interesting. You do this really often if you are using cycles or EV nodes, except that um, here we are really just using the coordinates, vertex coordinate. And we are remapping the color. There's a uh, lots of interesting thing that you can do here. Probably I didn't show everything, but it's uh, something you can play around with. So I'm using color ram. This is just two example. You can make another color ram. Okay, this one you need to update it first. So this is mapping the X and the Y. Yeah, so now you have black and white. You play around with HSV. You can get a quite interesting color combinations. If I'm not wrong. So you can also kind of modulate this value.
So I'm using list climb uh, list limits and climb on. But I'm I'm sure uh, we can easily modulate this. Modulo, yeah. See, um, maybe we have something that's kind of not, um, adding nice detail, and this is uh, doing it with vertex color. Pretty cool, and then you can just bake it out. File, export, USDZ, bake texture, and maybe oh, okay. I'm gonna push in, don't worry about it. Let's see how long this takes. It should be baking the vertex color and the output should be this guy. Right? It's a USDZ AR objects, you can just export it out and you have something. Yeah, hopefully you'll find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.